Hi Sagittarius, welcome in, welcome in. I'm doing your reading, your weekly reading for the second week of September. Guys, of course I do four readings a month. They may not will resonate with you. Definitely go around and surf around the weekly readings within the month as they're not all happening to you guys at the same exact time. Also, with that said, it's best you guys listen to your moon and your rising uh, and your Venus. Why do we say that? Because your moon will tell us what your inner thoughts are on the situation that you're dealing with. Your rising probably will tell you how people are perceiving your actions, what you're doing. Your Venus might give you some insight what's going on into your love life and what uh, is happening there. Also, your sun is what's actually going on in your world, actually in your life, the actual situation. So there's that. Of course, I'm going to say please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I'm going to pull just two more cards if they ever come out. There we go. And last but not least, what's the outcome for the week, please? For my Sagittarius, please. And yeah, and if you're new to the channel, if you like what you hear, please share, like, and subscribe. Please leave me comments. I love your comments. Okay, Sagittarius, we're dealing with a love ship. This is what this reading is going to definitely be about. This is a soulmate connection. Or at least you feel, oh, yeah, there's serious love here, dude. And do that. Queen of Cups. Love in a love ship. Four of Wands. Some of you are getting engaged or married or moving in with each other or going to settling a strong foundation within this new-ish relationship. Before that, you had to make a judgment call because in the recent past, you had suffered a serious loss, a very painful loss. So some of you might have had to made a judgment call to move on from your past. And maybe somebody significant came along in your lives and the timing might not have been right, but you took a leap of faith and did it anyway. Uh, yeah. Two of uh, two of swords. You you might have been confused between two people. You caught someone else out. All right, that's the storyline. That's who I'm reading for. <laughs> Let's see what's going on over here. In your situation, I have the hangman. The hangman tells me you've been in a stuck position, or you've been trying to analyze something from a different perspective for yourselves. What's coming towards you? Hmm. The Six of Cups, reminiscing of the past or someone from the past, or again, this is another soulmate card. Justice, justice for what recently had happened to you. What are you getting justice from? This. Some of you might be dealing with a Libra. Others of you might be dealing with a Leo. But you had the strength, because I, 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 and that's the first thing that rolled off my tongue. Because usually you need to have strength because it's in your future position. It's coming towards you. And you're going to need to have strength to deal with whatever this is from your recent past. This could be a divorce. This could be the law. The law is on your side. You will prevail. You will win. Uh, Five of Cups is not crying over spilt milk anymore. You're done with that. You're over it. But this, for me, to, like that's why I said you had. You had the strength to get over this, to get over this guilt, this sorrow, this loss, this sadness, because it's in the reverse position. And that's probably why I feel like the words had, but you will need to have some more strength to deal with the justice that is coming towards you regarding someone or something from your past. Um, cross watchers, welcome. You could also be the Sagi in this reading, flip it and they could be you. Um, take it as that resonates with you as well. Ace of Swords, this is what you don't see coming. Contracts, law, legal, um, severing of ties. Uh, and for contracts, for some of you are getting a new job, a new home, a new car. A lot of you are getting a new car. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Or a new home or something new. And there's this is the contract. Others of you, this is starting this new relationship. And this is for the bulk of you. Uh, because the very first card at the bottom of the deck was the Two of Cups, and then it was the Queen of Cups. You guys are starting this relationship from truth, from honesty, 
from clarity because in your recent past you might feel like you didn't have that if you are having a reconciliation it is starting from this ground zero from truth honesty and clarity um sorry had an itchy eye okay so in your advice position ace of cups this new love they're saying go for it death you are going through a transformation and you should go through the transformation and you need to die off whatever wasn't working or whatever wasn't for you before. Ten of Pentacles. This is uh, two storylines. Um, for those of you that are married and you've had marriage issues and you've had issues in your marriage, they're saying you have to do a new beginning, a fresh do-over. And it's time to end those things. Others of you, they're saying definitely go for the new love. It can lead to marriage. You are in a transitioning, transforming position, and you are killing off the, the past or what wasn't working. You definitely have to put an end to something, is what it's telling me. So there's an ending, and there's a beginning. And it all leads to marriage. So we're going to clarify, and we're going to see what this is about. In your outcome, uh, Three of Wands, it talks about uh, waiting for your ships to come in or waiting for someone or something. Waiting to hear an answer from someone or something. All right, so let's go ahead and start clarifying. The situation we're going to clarify is the hanged man. Universe Angel Spirit Guides. Ugh. Sagittarius, please. Second week of September in 2021. Gotta be specific. Okay, one more shuffle. Why is the hang in here? Wow. The devil flew out. A lot of you have been dealing with a toxic uh, situation. Um, it did fall in the reverse position. So it is telling me you are pretty much in a stuck situation because you are trying to currently get yourself out of a toxic situation or something where someone was very obsessed or obsessive over something. Um, and it was exhausting you. It was burdening you because at the bottom of the deck is the 10 of odds, but you're done. After the 10 comes the aces, which is right here. New beginnings. So th this is th th these burdens, this exhaustion is over. It's done. A lot of you have been dealing with an air sign, a uh, Leo, no, I'm sorry, Libra, Libra Gemini, Aquarius. Um, or this could be your lawyer because you are finally getting rid of this toxic, exhausting situation and you're in a stuck situation for the time being and you feel like you can't make moves, not yet, or you need to see something in a different light or different position. It is most likely you dealing with your recent past. And here's another card of Libra. That could also be the law. Uh, Leo and the Five of Cups. Let's go ahead and clarify that. What's coming towards Sagittarius? Please leave me comments, guys. I read them all. I love your comments. Okay, why is the Six of Cups here? Justice. Luck is on your side. This is the luckiest card in the deck. Why? Because these two are major arcanas. There's like 20% of the deck is major arcana. That's when the universe dips their finger in the pool of your life to make moves. The rest of them are lower arcana. And when we say lower arcana, that is your free will to do as you please. They present options for you, the universe. And they're like, okay, what are you going to do with this? What are you going to do with this situation? What are you going to do with this person? What are you going to do with this job? 
So if you guys are going through divorce and I told you that the law is on your side, best believe it, you will come out on top. Others of you, if you were dealing with a relationship situation and your person was treating you like shit or they, there was a third party situation, best believe that was a blessing in disguise. Whatever's going on here, this talks about all the luck is on your behalf. So your past is your past. So even if you have a reconciliation or a divorce or you're moving on from a bad breakup because you did suffer a, a serious loss here. This ain't no joke, the three of uh, swords. This is profound pain. That's why I read the bottom of the deck, because that tells me what's either coming down the pike or the backlog story. So you had some serious profound pain in the recent past. This was all a blessing in disguise. That's why you will find the strength to move on, because in the upright position means you're still in these fields. You're still in this like depression. But in the reverse, you're not. You're getting over it. So this is exactly what's coming towards you. You're going to start feeling back into your power, back into your strength, back into your true, you know, empress form is what I'm vibing. Yeah, king of swords, you could have been dealing. Again, this could be your lawyer if you're divorcing others of you. This is somebody new that's coming towards you. You have options. I always felt like you had options, Sagittarius. I feel like sometimes you don't see it that way. I don't know. Anyways, let's go on and let's clarify the Ace of Swords. What you don't see coming, that's behind the scenes. Universe Angel Spirit Guides. What is this Ace of Swords for Massages? So far, this looks like a great reading. It looks like you're going from one situation to the next, or you're evolving from your recent past, is what I'm definitely feeling. Okay, one more place for the Ace of Swords. No. Okay, top two. Yeah, you were definitely holding on to something. Uh, I don't know if this was money or if this was a relationship. Uh, and if this was a relationship, you see this person, you're realizing things that you need to let go of. So you're using this Ace of Swords to cut out that part that no longer serves you because it's dead. That's why the skeleton is there to represent that. And the other two cards that fell out, they didn't fall out. They were, I, I always, th this is me as a reader. I shuffle twice. If nothing pops out, I take the top two cards from the second shuffle. And th it never fails me as a reader. This is the Six of Cups. They're just reiterating the same, same card, same theme. You've been trying to juggle both. You've been trying to juggle almost like two lives, like your recent past and your future or your present. I don't know if you've been juggling two jobs. I don't know if you've been juggling two people. I don't know if you've been juggling two situations. You've been trying to juggle two things at once. And now you realize one of them has to go. Because these are the clarifiers representing this. This this new beginning in truth and honesty and clarity. You know, and a lot of you are thinking like, can I let this go? Can I let this go? You're starting to know that you you need you need to. You need to swiftly move on. You need to move forward in your life because there's love here. There's a soulmate here. Whoever you feel is your soulmate in your world, you know they're there and you know you want to fix this. So let's go see what's going on in your advice with your family, with your life, with your situation. This definitely here says work on your family, whatever dynamic you're going through. I don't care if you're going through a divorce. I don't care if you're, you know, this is your job. I don't care if this is your mother, father, brother, sister. This applies to everybody in the advice position. Work on your family. I don't even care if you're single. This talks about you working with your family. This is important. Why? Because there's some kind of toxic issue that was going on. And if you fix those toxic issues, you can make smart moves in your future. Balanced ones, healthy ones. Go for the new beginning. End what doesn't work for you. All in your advice position. You have an ending and a beginning here. And the family right in the middle. You know what that means to all of you. Comments. Uh, why is death here? Ace of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Please help me clarify this so I get more details and understanding for my Sagis. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Three of 
swords, three of swords. Let me explain. Do you see the difference in the two images here? Two different decks, same story. You have been reeling from recent pain. This tells me how you felt, as in past tense. The pain. Look at her face. She's in extreme pain. That's what you felt. In your advice, take the fucking daggers out and heal that shit. What did I just get done saying about the ten, the, the, this, this family rift or situation that's going on? You need to heal that. You need to take the daggers out, what bandage up your heart, and fix this. This is going to help you do this. Guess what else it's going to do? It's going to help elevate you. It's going to bring you to Emperor Set. It, for whatever reason, this is telling me strongly, telling me to advise you this. It is because it's not, it's going to elevate you. And not from a page to a knight. And not from a knight to a king or a queen. From a king to a queen to an empress. Do you understand that status level? Because that is your value. That is your worth. And you do not see that right now. And that is what you are worth. You don't see yourself that way. And you need to. You really, really need to. In any event, some of you could also be dealing with uh, somebody that's pregnant. That's very specific. It's very detailed. Or the mother of your children for some of you. Some of you might be having issues wanting to start a family. Uh, and it never went anywhere. And you're trying to have a family. There is a new beginning. Um, they're telling me you just have to try something different. Okay. For the rest of you, finishing up your advice. This Knight of Cups is telling me you might need to do this. You might need to go forward with, yeah, because there was something in the recent past that was unbalanced, unfair. Um, and the Knight of Cups says you might be the, might have to be the first person um, to put your foot forward uh, in regards to emotions. Wh whether this is to um, close a chapter, uh, start a new relationship. Uh, whatever it is, it's a, it's a, about emotions and feelings. So let's see what's going on in your outcome. Please help me clarify this three of wands. What are we waiting for? There's three of wands here. What are we waiting for? Uh huh. Some of you are waiting regarding a marriage. Some of you are waiting uh, on a, some kind of community. Community could be work, could be a team. You could be, I don't know, an athlete. And th this is talking about doing something in an orthodox way. But you're waiting for your ships to come uh, towards you regarding a marriage, a relationship, a community. A community could even be your church. It could be even your board members at work. Whatever it is for you, that's a community or something or someone you are married to, emotionally and mentally. Others of you, in order for your ships to come in, you have to do something in an orthodox manner. There are no skipping corners. You also have Page of Wands because you guys want to go off onto an exciting new adventure, an exciting new beginning. Um, just plugging in my computer. And yes, the main plug is not in the wall. Sorry about that. So, yes, some of you want a exciting new beginning. Others of you are walking away from whatever time and energy you have invested in in the past. So you're saying goodbye to that. Uh, you're starting a brand new journey. You're taking a leap of faith and you're going into the unknown and you're excited. So these two cards right here tells me... No, wait, there's four cards. I'll explain them all. This tells me you're taking a leap of faith and you're going into the unknown. You're embarking on a brand new journey and you're very excited about it. You are leaving the past behind. You're like, fuck you. I'm taking one pentacle. You keep the rest. I'm out. Bye. And then you are going towards your true north, your happiness. You are looking for your, um, your dreams, your reality. You're very optimistic, though. You're very positive, which is a great card to end this reading with. So let me go ahead and get some Romance Angel messages. Overall, Sagittarius, this is a great reading. By the way, at the bottom of the deck, I have the Queen of Swords. A lot of you have been dealing with an air sign. 
Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Others of you might have, this might be your new person, uh, air sign. They're at the bottom of the deck. Others of you are just cutting shit out. Flat out. You're just cutting shit out. You're, you're being positive. You're energetic. But at the same token, you are being a little serious. You are being grounded. Uh, and that's what she does. And with the three of cups in reverse, some of you might not be taking on a reconciliation. Others of you don't want to really date right now either. Others of you, this is just you being serious and grounded in the decisions that you're making. Um, you recently felt stuck and you felt somebody else helped you out of that loop. And it could be this new love. I don't know. Okay. Sagittarius, second week of September 2021. What do you have from the universe? Angel Michael, Samuel, and Raphael. What do you have? Sorry, I thought I saw a card flip. No. No. It didn't. Okay. Romantic feelings. Yeah, that's your new person. They're totally saying, go for it. Go for it. Stay optimistic about your love life. You're, you're concerned. That's what this, uh, you know, you're trying to be logical because you don't want to get hurt again. So you're being a little bit more on the serious side. You're saying, ah, nah, nah. be optimistic about your love life. Pay attention to the red flags. So if there's something going on, I think you're going to be aware because, like we said, justice is on your side. Just pay attention to the red flags and you're good to go. The bottom of the deck, I have children. So a children might be the reason you might feel stuck-ish. And that could be the reason why you're not moving on. Um, could be your children, could be their children. You guys know to flip the script. So flip the rules. What you got for my saggies? What messages do you have for them? A new romantic cycle begins. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm very confident about my readings. Usually, if this, the, this, these messages are obviously for somebody specific in mind. If this isn't your story, this isn't your story. This is someone else's story. But this is why this kept coming in your advice position. It's saying go for it, you know, this um, new romantic cycle. I think you are. You're taking a leap of faith. I saw that, fool. The energy is gaining momentum. In the beginning, you might have been like, oh, I don't know, hesitant. But now it looks like you're picking up steam going towards this new world, this new life. This is why you, you uh, in your outcome, you had the three of wands. I think you were waiting to see what would happen with your ex or past person or what would happen with this new person, something along those lines. But the energy is gaining momentum. You are starting to get excited. And that's what this the the um this is. This is exciting. This is feeling like a teen again. Uh, and the last card is what do you need to release? Well, I don't know. You do it though. Oh, I wanted to see what fell. It's the seven of pentacles. This is what you need to release, and you do do it. You say, all right, I'll take a pentacle and you keep the rest. I don't give a shit. I'm going on a new journey. So what do you need to release? Uh, those of you, if this is a work reading, your hard work is paying off. Yes, boom. Even those of you that are dealing with a relationship, you've been working on yourself. You've been, you know, doing your own thing. You attracted somebody and voila, you have somebody now in your life. This is what I have for you, Sagittarius. Please leave me comments, like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next week. Bye now.